News Channel. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 11. Vinny the Chin Gigante. He's said to be one of the most powerful mobsters in America. His lawyers say he's insane, but tonight it appears Gigante will finally be brought to justice. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Watkins. Chuck is off. The mob may be about to take a big hit. It's a story you'll see only on News Channel 4. It is all but certain that a federal judge will rule tomorrow that Gigante is sane, was sane, and is competent to stand trial. The boss of all bosses in the American Mafia will have to answer to murder and racketeering charges. News Channel 4's John Miller reports. While the judge's opinion is still sealed, FBI agents are making contingency plans to rearrest Gigante on charges he's been able to sidestep by using his mental illness, an illness that prosecutors have claimed is an act. It's worked for him for 20 years. Hopefully it's not going to work for him much longer. Charles Rose, a former prosecutor, developed the original indictment of Giganti, charging him with being the boss of the Genovese crime family, the chairman of the mob's commission, and the man who arranged to have mobsters who broke the rules of La Cosa Nostra killed. One alleged plot involved plans to bump off John Gotti. Giganti has been able to avoid going to trial because a host of psychiatrists have testified that the wan figure who stares blankly and wanders the streets in a blue bathrobe was mentally disabled. But a host of mob informers, including Sammy the Bull Gravano, have said that they had regular dealings with the chin as a mob boss. Excuse me, sir. He was meeting late at night in garages and in social clubs and in limos and on the street and giving orders, giving orders to run the family, to commit murders on behalf of the family. Someday soon, Mr. Giganti will be in a court of law and he'll have to answer the charges against him. If Judge Nickerson decides tomorrow, as our sources believe he will, his decision won't come as a big surprise. Already he has ruled as a finding of fact by the court that Giganti was sane and was the boss of the Genovese crime family when the crimes were committed. Tomorrow it's expected he'll rule that he's sane enough to stand trial.